Everybody sing hallelujah. Everybody praise his name. Everybody sing hallelujah. Praise his name today. Nailed it. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter came up to the Lord and asked, How many times should I forgive someone who does something wrong to me? Is seven times enough? Jesus answered, Not just seven times, but seventy-seven times. This story will show you what the kingdom of heaven is like. One day a king decided to call in his officials and ask them to give an account of what they owed him. As he was doing this, one official was brought in who owed him 50 million silver coins, but he didn't have any money to pay what he owed. The king ordered him to be sold, along with his wife and children and all he owned, in order to pay the debt. The official got down on his knees and began begging, Have pity on me, and I will pay you every cent I owe. The king felt sorry for him and let him go free. He even told the official that he did not have to pay back the money. As the official was leaving, he happened to meet another official who owed him a hundred silver, silver coins. So he grabbed the man by the throat. He started choking him and said, Pay me what you owe. The man got down on his knees and began begging, Have pity on me and I will pay you back. But the first official refused to have pity. Instead, he went and had the other official put in jail until he could pay what he owed. When some other officials found out what had happened, they felt sorry for the man who had been put in jail. Then they told the king what had happened. The king called the first official back in and said, You're an evil man. When you begged for mercy, I said you did not have to pay back a cent. Don't you think you should show pity to someone else? as I did to you? The king was so angry that he ordered the official to be tortured until he could pay back everything he owed. This is how my Father in heaven will treat you if you don't forgive each of my followers with all your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Football starts this week. Big matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings coming on Sunday. Kids, could you imagine this weekend on Sunday, Aaron Rodgers huddles up the offense for the Green Bay Packers, has an awesome play, gives it to the rest of the offense in the huddle. Then they break the huddle and all of the players run towards the sideline and decide that they're not going to carry out this awesome play that he just called or that Coach LaFleur just called. Could you imagine then again on another set of downs, the Packers being on offense again later on in the game, they get together in a huddle. Matt LaFleur calls a great call into Aaron Rodgers' headset. He relays it in the huddle to the rest of the players. They break huddle. And again, all of the players go for the sideline. It was an awesome play, but they chose not to carry it out. The same is true with us in our gospel message today. Jesus tells us, he gives us a parable, a message. And what he's telling us is that we are all called to forgive. Why? Because we have been forgiven by our loving God first. We've been forgiven by God for something much greater. And we're called to now pass on that love and forgiveness to others. You know, I find it interesting. Peter starts off the gospel saying, Lord, how many times should I forgive other people? Seven times? Jesus responds, not seven times, but 77 times. 
You know, in some translations of that gospel, it says you should forgive seven times, 70 times. In some translations, it says that. Well, you saw me doing on the whiteboard before children's liturgy. I took 70 and I multiplied it by seven. You do that, you get 490 times. Jesus said you should forgive four, you should forgive somebody 490 times. That's a big number. So is Jesus saying that, well, if my brother or my friend, if they do something bad to me and I get to that 490th time of forgiving them that I should stop and forgive them no more? No. Clearly, Jesus isn't saying that. Jesus is saying, he's giving a big number to say, you know what? You have been forgiven by me. You're loving God for something so much greater that you need to extend that forgiveness to other people all the time. It should never run out. So my challenge for you this week, you know, just like my story about the Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers having an awesome play in a huddle. And then all of the players run to the sideline and they don't carry out that play. You know, we as a church, we're kind of like that sometimes, right? We're like that huddle with the Packers and a great play call. Jesus is telling us in our huddle that we must forgive others because we have been forgiven. We know that. We get in that huddle and we hear that awesome play, but what happens? We run to the sidelines. We don't carry it out. So my challenge for myself and for you this week, make a little bit extra effort to extend that love and forgiveness that you have been given by our God to other people. You will notice that your life is going to become much more positive. You're going, to be, you're going to feel like you're much more closer to Jesus. We're all called to imitate, which means be like Jesus Christ because we have his presence dwelling in each and every one of us. We're called to be like him. Well, if we're called to imitate, to be like Jesus, we must also forgive just like he forgave us. Go pack, go. But more importantly, go God go, and we'll see you next week.